working alongside. I'm extremely proud of the lecturers who cancelled their classes today. I'm extremely proud of every single student that has not crossed this picket line and has shown their support. I'm extremely proud for all of the other Unison members that have done the same and have refused to cross this picket line. But I am fantastically proud of a group of workers that are normally called vulnerable. Do these people look vulnerable to you? No, they're fighters! Because once you give these people the room to organise, once you give them support to get themselves organised, they turn from being vulnerable workers into real fighters on their own behalf and they are making history today because we are going to beat SWAT and we are going to win equality, dignity and respect for our cleaners because these people are standing up and fighting for it. There are a whole number of reasons why this campaign is fantastic and important. Not least because we see around us in this society an attack on migrant workers which is despicable currently but is actually now going on challenged by all the main political parties. And that's why it's particularly important, particularly important that this group of migrant workers are standing up here today. Because if you can lend yourself at the support and solidarity they're getting from workplace branch after workplace branch, we can take the argument back to these people. Migrant workers are welcome here, they're organising here, and we will stand with them when they fight in this country and give them every support that they deserve and need. We've got a whole number of speakers here today, a whole number of union branches and people showing support, but I also want to actually call people that have been part of the campaign here, so people bear with us. There'll be a lot of speakers, but they've all got something important to say about this campaign. The first person I want to call is the UCU president to so us, Nadia Ali. The UCU from the start of this campaign have seen the struggle of the cleaners as, as important as any of their own battles and have given us 100% support. And I really think that's something which actually we need to replicate in university after university. Because it's important that academics understand and that UCU members understand that our cleaners are as important to the functioning of this institution as any other part of it. So Nadia, can I come forward and say a few words? Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sandy. I'm very, very happy and humbled to be here today. And I, when I came down here, I wanted to, was thinking about what the right words are to tell to you. And actually, I remembered when I was an MA student, I was in Cairo at the American University in Cairo. And one of my professors, she was a very uh, internationally known, famous professor. She was a Marxist feminist and she spoke about inequalities and she told me how to use uh, Marxist theory to uh, analyze gender oppression and then one evening I was invited at her home for dinner okay and uh, I was very surprised because as we sat down for dinner she rang the bell and a woman came she was Filipino and she was dressed in a uniform and she was shaking as she was serving the soup and I never forget the sense of disappointment, betrayal and shock to see this Marxist feminist treat this person uniformed and you know ringing the bell. And at that moment I told myself that I never want to be that kind of Marxist feminist professor and I also told myself that I try to put into practice what I believe in theoretically. I have to admit I don't always manage. I mean, we're human. And I think that this campaign and all of you have been helping me to be a better person, to be more humble, and to try to put into practice what I believe in theoretically. And I also, when coming down and thinking about this event, I was reminded of my friends and relatives in Iraq because I think there are parallels to the way that people like my friends and relatives in Iraq have been subjected to warfare occupation and the parallel here is that of dehumanization. I think it's very easy or it's much easier to drop bombs or to make cleaners invisible if you dehumanize and I think what this campaign is doing successfully is to humanize, and I'm very happy to be part of this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Raja. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.